<laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to the beautiful surround of Soakill Camp. Luke and Rachel have invited us all here to share in their love and celebrate their union today. My name is Luann Huppett and I'm a registered celebrant. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. I'm so honoured to be marrying Rachel and Luke as I've come to know them over the past few years and delight in seeing the way they take pleasure in each other and in all the little things they do together. These two are a couple that are clearly meant to be together. Their first meeting was at Luke's birthday party. You could say she was his best ever present. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel was actually supposed to be meeting up with another guy there. When she came in with her friend, Chris and Tina, Luke wasn't sure whether she was already going out with Chris or with Tina. <laughs> he eventually sorted out that Rachel was actually the single one and she realised without too much sadness that the bloke she was supposed to be meeting had already gone. After crossing paths a few more times, Rachel decided to take action and ask Luke out for a beer. Their similarities came to the surface here when they both turned up hungover for that first day. <laughs> They were both nervous, but this manifested in complimentary ways, with Rachel not being able to stop talking and Braves only managing to get out about two words. <laughs> After this, what they refer to as their summer of love began, starting with a trip to Meredith Music Festival and some could say not ever ending. They were both on holidays at this time and after Rachel's first sleepover, we invited her back the next night and the next and again, and again. <laughs> <laughs> they both agree that music is their glue, and this is seen in the number of festivals and concerts they attend together. They also have a big love of nature, as we can see by the special spot they have chosen here. And they have quite an affinity with Tasmania. Luke invited Rachel on a trip there quite early on in their relationship not realising the magnitude of her flying phobia. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel says that while she's still not really comfortable with being in the air, Luke has helped her overcome this fear and they have been back to Tassie a few more times on a plane now. Rachel's fear of flying does not extend to being suspended in space though and she in turn has taught Luke about anti-gravity yoga, inviting him along to one of these classes and having the satisfaction of introducing him to this extreme form of relaxation. <laughs> One of the best things about this couple is their love and support of each other's passions. While they recognise that each has individual interests, they are always willing to experiment to understand and have an appreciation of just what it is that makes the other happy. Luke sure nailed what makes Rach happy when he proposed. I'm not sure I have ever heard of a more perfect proposal. Rachel had already decided she had had the best day of her life after spending it with Luke riding bikes around Rottnest Island, swimming in secluded clothes mm -hmm. and arriving back at the hotel in anticipation of relaxing on the balcony to watch the sunset before dinner. As they pulled out the wine, they were amazed by the sight of not just one, but a whole pod of whales frolicking in the ocean in front of their room. With this backdrop, Luke pulled out the ring and bent his knee to really make it the best day of her life. After her ecstatic agreement and some wine, they realised most of the restaurants on Rotness had closed for the night, but even the dodgy bar they found for dinner couldn't bring Rachel's day down. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's sister, Joanne, is going to read a poem for the couple now. Jo, can you come forward? Thank you. <laughs> This is a poem that Luke and Rachel have chosen for the uh, party wedding for us. Uh, now you have seen my rain, what we could do with the shelter for the other. Now 
Now you have seen and told that each of you will be linked to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place, to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon you. <laughs> 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 um, and as a surprise today, the bride would also like to do a special reading <laughs> just for the groom. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to nurture your goals and ambitions and to support you through misfortune and celebrate your triumph. I promise to keep our lives exciting, adventurous and full of passion. <laughs> <laughs>
promise to show you every day that I know exactly how happy I am to have you in my life. Okay, Luke Brady, do you take Rachel Josephine Penn to be your wife? Will you love, honour and respect her in good times and bad throughout your life together? And Rachel Josephine Penn, do you take Luke Brady to be your husband? Will you love, honour and respect him in good times and bad throughout your life together? I do. Rachel and Luke have chosen to exchange rings. The circle of a ring represents eternity and the permanent bond that will never break between a husband and wife. These rings are a symbol of the promises they have made to each other today. Right, you got the rings there? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
see what you're saying. Adam, you're right. Oh, that's it. Oh, Faye. Yeah. Emma. This is Kate. Hello. I'm Dan. Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 She does, doesn't she? She can just wear anything. You see her in a straight way, you see her in a dress like that. And it's just um, beautiful, isn't it? This is her phone. Oh, hey! Yeah. Yeah, okay. It'll be fun for her to look at this. Good. 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 Good.